How did you bring Christ into your failures? Because you can't succeed without failure. How did you bring Christ into who you are, into your failures? Well, I mean, for me, Pastor, uh, my faith in Christ, my faith in the Lord was everything. My failures, I took it so, so I took it as a learning process. I didn't take my failures as I was a loser. I took my failures as the Lord is trying to teach me something mm. or humbling me. And sometimes there were nothing to learn. Simple days a process that we had to go through. Yeah. Mm. So I took it just like that. So well, the Lord is either teaching me something or he want me to go to a different level. He want to take me to a different level well, where he knows I'm going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Now I'm okay here, but he wants me in here. But it's a step by step. He don't want me there in one step. I have to take four steps to get to where he wants me. So you bought it's in on time mm -hmm. to make a step. Mm -hmm. And that's what I took. See, I, I'm always positive, regardless of what happened. You know, I... I don't like, I dislike negative people. So when you, obviously you have to understand who you represent. You know, you have to understand that, who you represent. And if we represent Christ, I don't believe that Christ has lost a battle. So if we represent Christ, we know, we have to understand that we have his power. He mm. can and he cannot lose. Mm. But the, the tribulations that you go through, if for you to get better, that's what I took. That was for me to get better. And I, and I accepted. 